Hey, a pleasant good day everyone, this is Sports Fanatic News, I'm Joe Boric, and this is going to be a preview to our Reading Royal season and the roster announcement video, as well as we're 2 hours and 10 minutes away and a little bit like 40 seconds from the start of the game, at, well, away against the Norfolk Admirals today, and then of course we are going to play them tomorrow in Reading, where I will be covering that game actually in person for the wonderful Flyers Nitty Gritty that the great Yarif Wallach and Jamie Baskell give me the opportunity to do. I will be linking that channel at the end of this video for great Flyers, Royals, even Delaware Thunder Federal Prospect League content, and obviously some Lehigh Valley Phantoms content. Follow that page for damn sure you will be impressed. But let's get into this one right here. The Again, as I said, the Royals smartly have a veteran goalie with Carlos Domenko that's had some experience in the AHL and has experience in the ECHL that I talked about in my previous video, the preseason recap, so I'm not going to go into it again if you want to listen to that about how I talked to Spiel, about how it's great to have veteran goaltending for a good young development goaltender. Check out my preseason recap. I'll link that at the end of this video as well. But Kirill Ustamenko is a good developing young goaltender, a fan favorite in Reading, obviously played great in Reading already. And now he's back, and now he's ready to pounce again. Obviously did great in the shutout in the preseason, so I'm excited to see what he's able to do. On D, we have Patrick McNally, Garrett Sissery, and David Drake, and then we also have Mike Crocock. They don't, they put it in order of names here, so I'm trying to skip to final the defense first. Jared Brandt, and then we have Dominic Cormier and Mike Chen. So we have a very solid, well, obviously, put together defense. And also for people that do not know. They smartly put it at the bottom of this article, so I'll explain it. ECHL teams can carry a maximum of 20 on their active roster, but no more than 18 skaters can be active at one time. For the first 30 days, however, of the regular season, teams can carry 21 players on the active roster, of which no more than 19 can be active at any time. But teams are permitted to carry up to two players of any time on a reserve list, while an unlimited number, an unlimited, excuse me, number of players can be placed on the 14-day injured reserve. The Royals are going to be carrying 22 on their roster on opening night, so at least one player must be placed on that reserve list to start this season, of course. And the Royals, just as an interesting factoid pointed out by this great article on the Royals website that announces their opening roster. I'm not sure who writes it because it just says under it, the Royals proud affiliate of the Flyers. And then as I scroll down, it doesn't say anything about who writes it. So hopefully I can find that out to give them credit in future videos. But you have t the uh, Royals have 13 Americans and 8 Canadians on their team. Only one guy is actually from outside of North America, which is, of course, Kirill the Thrill Ustamenko in net, who is one of the best ECHL goaltenders, if not the best, as far as I'm concerned. And then as the, as it, it comes to right-handed defensemen, because we talked about the defense, the lone right-handed shot on the team is Mike Chen from the defense. That was the aforementioned. And then, obviously, Matthew Strom and Kirill are the guys loaned down from the Phantoms, and or from the Philadelphia, excuse me, um, and then you have Charlie Gerard, because that's technically how that language is. And then you have Charlie Gerard and Pat Nagel, who have been loaned down from the Phantoms. So I think it's obviously smart, again, to start Kirill in the minors. It's going to get him to develop the best he can. He's going to get the most playing time, and he's kicked butt in Reading already, and he's going to do that again. Having Matthew Strome be in the minors in the ECHL in the AA League, which is still a very good league that's getting better because of the abundancy of talent we just have around hockey nowadays, which is freaking fantastic. He's a big skilled guy that plays a consistent game, battles hard, he plays a hard-nosed game, he obviously has good hands and an accurate shot, and no compromise in the smarts, but his, the thing he needs to do is he needs to work on process, uh, uh, work on progress in transition when it comes to getting back on defense on the back check, or just being more efficient while skating, but he's a big boy at 22, 205, according to Elite Prospects, and 6'4", and he's a fourth round pick, so they take a little bit longer. I'm going to be patient as a virtue with this guy until the fat lady sings, which I still don't think is going to happen because I think he's going to get to be a good bottom six guy and going to get to be a very good AHL player at some point and then eventually just be one of those guys that takes longer because he's a bigger build. We've seen those guys take a little bit longer before. Look at his brother Ryan, who's just starting to get it going in his late 20s. Dylan's getting kind of 
destroyed by Chicago, not getting played for some reason. I don't think that's on him. But those guys, I think, are players that are perfect examples. They are guys that got going more in their mid-20s, and Dylan will rebound, I predict, as well. So I think we got to be patient and have time. You can just look to his family to, to say that, and I think it's smart to start him in the ECHL to be able to get the most ample playing time. But six players are rookies on this team as well, which are Cam Strong, Jason Cressy, Jared Brandt, Brandon Van Riemsdyk, the great brother of James. going to be fun to watch him. Grant Cooper and Kenny Halsinger, who both had very good preseasons in Cooper and Halsinger. But when we get to the forwards, we have Cooper, Halsinger, as mentioned, Charlie Gerrard, uh, BVR, Brandon Van Riemsdyk, Thomas Ebbing, Joshua Winquist. We have Frank DiChara, the great Frank. The Chara. Obviously, he was able to pot one there as a nice preseason goal on the open net. Jacob Pritchard, Jackson Cressley, Matthew Stromo, I mentioned Patrick Bajkoff, Cam Strong, Braden Lowe, and then that wraps up the forward core for the roster. I think this team is going to be very fun to watch, a very competitive ECHL team this year because it all starts with obviously the defense, which they have a pretty good foundation there, and in net, which they have a really good foundation there with Kuro Ustamenko and ECHL slash AHL veteran Pat Nagel, who has experience at the lower levels and really knows what he's doing and what he's talking about when it comes to playing in those levels for a young netminder. So I think it was smart to bring him in. I think this Royals team is going to have success this season. I'm going to have a lot of fun covering a good amount of their home game for Flyers Nitty Gritty, thanks to the wonderful Jamie Baskell and Dereve Wallach of Flyers Nitty Gritty that I am going to link at the end of this video. So give them a follow. Subscribe down below and above to follow here at Sports Fanatic News. I appreciate your support. All. Let's go Reading Royals. The 20th season is here. Let's make it a great winning season. Peace out, everybody.